Well, it's time. <laughs> yeah, I know you've all been waiting, sitting on the edge of your chair, waiting for that results of that Nissan Leaf battery test. Well, I finally have it. Uh, we had some good sun, and I charged the batteries up nice and hot, and uh, let them rust for a few hours, just to uh, stabilize, and then I started the test. And uh, I started it yesterday at 9.30 in the morning, and uh, here's my arrangement. It's uh, the same bunch of bulbs I had testing the Chevy Volt battery setup, and uh, just the one 200 watt bulb. For anybody that didn't see that video, that's just an old 200 watt incandescent bulb that's connected directly to the 48 volt pack, and those are uh, LED spotlights. Um, and I forget, oh, they're Phillips LED spotlight. They don't pull a whole lot, but all combined, uh, I'm pulling around three amps, and I recorded it every hour on the hour. Um, so, the results, very interesting. Uh, the, we ran it yesterday for 13 hours, and in that 13 hours, I averaged 152.35 watts that was the average running watts if you start out it started out 163 and it ended at 140 and uh, the amperage dropped down accordingly but I calculated the watts once an hour so these are little stair steps in the calculation but uh, I did that two ways I I first took the differential between 163 and 140 which is uh, roughly 23 and I divided that by 2 to come up with an average and then I added I added up 12 of these steps and divided by 12 and it came out to almost identical uh, as far as the average wattage goes so either way the calculation works you know they ran for 13 hours so that battery gave up 1.98 kilowatt hours and then today uh, it was at 3.77 volt resting start. It was at 3.76 last night when I shut it off at 10.30. And then today uh, we, we harvested another uh, one, two, three and a half hours. And I noticed at the 12.30 mark, we we're at 3.42 volts and that's just below the knee. The knee is three and a half volts. So we were kind of really at the knee around 11.30. But uh, boy, right after, right after it hit that knee at 12.30 by 1 o'clock, she was basically done. She was right down to 3.22 volts. And uh, that is exactly where I stopped the Chevy Volt test also. And for anybody that doesn't know, uh, that information comes from uh, multiple sources. They all seem to agree that 3.5 volts per cell is the knee of this technology whether it be a Chevy Volt or a Nissan Leaf and uh, one more little nugget of information the Nissan Leaf car itself goes into what's called turtle mode where you can just barely creep along when the battery hits 3.2 uh, volts per cell or 308 volts total because there's 96 cells in series uh, so that's why I stopped the test at 3.2. You can go down lower, you can go to 2.5 volts. Uh, theoretically, I guess that's the absolute minimum you'd ever want to take one of these batteries. I'll never take it there. And uh, so 3.2 is the test criteria. So when I hit 3.22 at the half hour mark here at 1, I quit the test. And I harvested another 0.43 kilowatt hours today. You stack those up, that's 2.41. Now this pack is rated at three kilowatt hours out of the factory, that's what they claim. And this pack was uh, one year old, came from a one year old car when I bought it and it has been in use every day for just about a year. Uh, it'll be a year I believe later this month. And um, so here's the interesting part, It I harvested 80% of its rated power. Now, I didn't take it all the way down, and I was a little bit short of being completely full. I was at 4.16 volts to start with. I could have been at 
I don't know how much more there is in there between 4.16 and 4.2. You know, you can you can you can estimate it here. Um, there'd be about 0.16 kilowatt hours. There's 0.16 kilowatt hours roughly between 4.1 and 4.14. You know, so I don't know. You could kind of say, well, there might be that much more between 4.14. Six and 4.2 so you could add 0.16 kilowatt hours in here you know if you want to extrapolate and um, what would that that would that bring us to um, instead of 0.43 we'd have 0.43 plus 0.16 so you'd be at 0.59 add that to 1.98 and now you're at 2.57 kilowatt hours total you know you could say that, but anyway, you know, we're, we're pretty close. This is a pretty close test. Now, here's the interesting part. Um, let's take a look at the Volt results. Now, the Chevy Volt batteries had estimated around 40,000 miles, somewhere between 35 and 40,000 miles on them, according to the recycling yard. And as tested, they were 2 kilowatt hours rated from the factory, and they ended up putting out um, 1.81 or 90 percent of their factory rated capacity that's pretty good um, a little bit more than the leaf batteries leaf batteries are only putting out you know 80 percent so I don't know what that means it's just an observation uh, would I buy another leaf battery pack no uh, reason is it's just much more expensive um, the Chevy Volt packs now are down, you know, so reasonable that uh, you know you you can buy them for seventy-five dollars a kilowatt hour if you hunt around at recycling yards, and that includes shipping. So, um, but you know the Leaf batteries work fine, and uh, they're serving a good purpose. And in fact, that's all I had for the majority of the year. I only now recently have the uh, I only recently have the um, Chevy Volt batteries in line. So that will take a load off the Leaf batteries. But anyway, that's the result of the test. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun doing it. And uh, by all means, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.